just you've been in the start lineup for a few games now. Can you tell us how you're progressing along? Uh, I'm progressing along well. It's a blessing to uh, play under Coach Chavez and Coach Cooper, and knowing that he produced legendary DB. So me starting and me showing them I can play is something great, something I can always remember. How's the team hanging in there with uh, the streak y'all are on right now? Man, we're hanging in there fine, man. It's just a storm that we're in right now, so we just got to know it's going to blow by. We always got to believe in each other no matter what happens. So that's how it is. Is there an upperclassman who you've kind of looked up to who's you know, giving you pointers? Uh, Ryan Pulley. Ryan Pulley always gave me pointers even even last year, coming into this year, me starting in against Auburn. He just let me know, like, it wasn't going to be that much different from practice, just different jerseys. Just play how I usually play, and that's just ball. That's it. Could you progress the most, do you think, the last couple of weeks? Uh, I progress most likely in my press, in my press, really. Just me being firm, now open up my hips, and just be just me being sound and humble, really. Coach Moore said you, you played your best game. I don't know if you heard that, but he told us on Monday that it's your best game. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I, I gave up a touchdown in the end zone, but yeah, I played my best game. I felt like I could have done better in each and every day. I'm my worst critic, so I'm just going to keep playing better and better to, until I can't stop. What's the defense right now after the back-to-back 600-yard -back games that you guys have had against you? Well, uh, we we still the same defense. We still the same hard run-stopping, pass-stopping defense. So I feel like the defense haven't changed that much as well. We just still doing our job and making sure we are helping the offense out as well as they are helping us out. So what's Ryan said since he got ejected from that game? What, what's his thoughts to the team been like? I don't know. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't say nothing to us about that. How's Monteric look if, if Ryan can't play the first half and I guess Monteric could be the other the guy that starts? Um he Monteric looking good as always. He he's out the corner just in case I go down, so he plays good. He plays great to to the college college level, especially making that transition from safety to corner. So he's just athletic D B as well. Who else is working in the rotation now? Uh, just um Nate Dalton as well and uh Brito Tut. Just the same rotation that we always been and we still just just keep it, keep it going. Assuming that you felt like you were going to redshirt during the course of last year, and Ryan was hurt, did y'all did y'all bond a little bit more than might might have been normal for last year? Yeah, I bonded more with Ryan Putley because you know we watched film. I was a freshman coming in, then I had the redshirt, so it was something I never got used to. Really, just not playing a year of football, so. I had to watch film with him. He taught me some techniques as well, and just just keeping my confidence up there, and just not just being down in the dump. So that was something you wanted to do, though, with him being kind of the veteran on the team, and so you 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 kind of went to him basically. Uh, yeah, I, I went to him. I went to him for help. That's just as any any freshman coming in, just his first year playing college football. You don't know what to do, so you just hoping that somebody that with a leadership like Ryan Pulley would just come in and just let you know how to do it and when to do it at certain times. What do you make of Tulsa, uh, the, what they're doing offensively? Uh, they run spread. They have um, some good wide receivers, and, you know, I just have to cover and just do my job. What's the dynamic like with Coach Cooper and Coach Smith back there in the secondary? Oh, it's amazing. It's funny and amazing at the same time. With them coaches right there, they, they teach us technique-wise, sound-wise. And with them two coaches, I can understand why they produce so many great DBs in the league because well, how they coach and how they teach is not, nothing personal. It's just it's business, and they care about us as players as well. So I see how it is. What do you think of the wide receivers for Tulsa? Thinking the wide receivers of Tulsa, big, aggressive, the same way how Ole Miss is, and you know I just got to play firm, just just do my job. A lot of opening in the middle of the field when they're running stuff the last two weeks. I mean, how much have you guys worked on on trying to correct some of that? Uh, assignment wise, uh, assignment wise, we work on it every day. You know, Coach, Coach Morris always let us know miss assignments. He don't let us know separately by position groups, but in the DB room, we know what we have to do, and we do that every day. And before practice, after practice, we let we let each other know what we have to do to be a great defense. Those back-to-back 600-yard -back games drive you guys as a defense right now to, to kind of come back out and play like you did against Auburn and A&M? Yes, that's no matter what. So, like, we just let the pass be the pass, and we just going to keep keep driving to try to be one of the best defense in the nation, most likely. That's how we do it, and that's how we plan on doing it. We don't hold no grudges between how we played last week or the week before. We're just trying to play to our highest, our highest momentum.